So today we're supposed to be going to plant asparagus and um, whenever I tell people I work for an asparagus farmer, the first thing they always ask me is how is it planted? And um, he planted this stuff, Mr. Berry planted this stuff back in the, I think 89 he said he planted it. And um, some of it is running a little low on the crop that's still coming up. So we're gonna hopefully go plant it. Except we've got a big storm going on. So it's a different day, obviously, because it's sunny. And um, so we're gonna probably plant the asparagus today. It hasn't been moved out of the ground since the 90s. The back peg is not hooked in here on this side. cultivator for the asparagus. So just like the video posted a few years ago when we were spreading the fertilizer this is this works the same way you can't run over that row what he's doing is part of this row still has stuff and part of it doesn't so he's trying to get past the part that is still growing and get rid of the majority of this row which doesn't have jack squat in it. Now I suppose he's probably just trying to line up. I would right guess there. it's like right there, yeah. Now, if you see I'm getting off center, you yell at me. Okay. So when did you like first plant all of this? We we planted about a third uh -huh. back in '88. You don't remember this, obviously. <laughs> but in '88, it was a drought that drought that year. Uh huh. Nothing came up. Oh. Nothing came up. Huh. We we'll planted again. Now that little short row out there. Right. We planted that rhubarb in that entire row in '87, and it was doing so well. We was like, well, let's plant that. So we did that, and then we did this row, this field, and then we did that one. 
for some reason that never ever ever did good huh. so we ripped it out store again and never had done good so then about seven or eight years ago we ripped up that in just because it's old right we replanted it okay So when you got rid of all your hogs is when you started planting all of this thing. Huh. Don't be afraid to yell at me. Okay. That'd be fun. <laughs> What the heck this guy's doing over here? Go back to your right just a little bit. That looks better. Looks good. I didn't know that, but... And then at some point I'll show you the asparagus has a uh, uh, natural break in it. You don't actually cut it. Now the stuff you buy in the store is cut because it's farmed on a mass scale. cultivated row. Wherever I am, I'm going to try to be out of his way. This asparagus here, see where that bends over? It's hard down here, it doesn't want to bend. But if you bend it, if you find where that bend is, it's got a natural break in it. That's, what, that's where that natural break is. Now that one was tall and scrawny. If you find a good asparagus, normally it's picked closer to the bottom, than, closer to the ground than that. The stuff you buy in the store, they don't care about that natural break. All they do in the store is take a big knife on an implement and drag it down the row and chop it off and it's gathered that way. The reason they do that is because in the store they're more care they're more worried about weight than what it actually what how much product you get. You can eat farther down than that break, but it's tough and it's not very good. You can eat asparagus, you can juice asparagus and drink it, and it's got a lot of cancer-fighting, I don't know what you'd call them, uh, elements in it. And um, there was a lady that had cancer, 
about 10 years ago and she started buying asparagus from Mr. Berry and juicing it and um, Mr. Berry said she started getting a green tint to her skin but her cancer went away she's still living so you don't have to do this every year like Mr. Berry said, a lot of that asparagus had been planted and uh, been growing. This is this stuff here has been growing since late 80s, I believe, is what he told me. This used to be a hog pen back in the day. We got a bunch of furniture. So there's the row. What's that? Just fertilizer. Okay. Oh yeah. will go down right okay. uh -huh. if you put some like those chemicals in that thing uh -huh. don't go down this stuff doesn't go down it stays right where it's put stays where it's put so that's why i can put this in the very bottom of that trench okay to provide fertilizer and that should last its lifetime really yep. that lasts the lifetime of the plant yep wow but when I had hogs out there, mm -hmm. they put enough more out there to last a long time too. Right. Yeah. Let me another five gallon bucket. So that only lasts that long because of the previous hogs. It lasts a long time because it had hogs. Out. Because it had hogs. Yeah. yeah. So. Corn fill that out there. Uh huh. You got just one year. Oh, okay. Huh. That makes sense. Yeah. Farm field, mm -hmm. put fertilizer on it every year. Now, that liquid in there, right? That goes down. Uh huh. And I've got to put that on every year. A different kind of fertilizer. Huh. So if it's too much, it'll burn the roots. Yeah. Salt on your food, right? It's okay, but if you really load up on salt, it's like, right? Huh? All right. But you know that's a lot of things in life. Do what? That's a lot of things in life. Yeah. You know, I can I can give you a, a, a twelve ounce container of Coke. Right. But if we give you five gallons, let's say drink it like that. No. <laughs> so this is a box of 200 asparagus plants. So we're going to put those in the hole, I assume, and then this guy's going to drag them down in the dirt. So this is the well, and then that's the root. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Just hand them, I'll plant them, but you're just going to hand them to me. Okay. And basically you go head to toe, head to toe. Does that make sense? Yeah. And this white is asparagus coming up. Right, yeah. It just yeah. hasn't had any sunlight. Right. And 
that's how you get like the point. Right. It's perfect for talking about. Yeah, the nice thing, even though they've been in that box, and it's somewhat cool, they haven't turned any. Anyway. Sometimes the mold, these are mold. I put the rubber band in my pocket. another bundle yes please so what's the benefit of the phosphorus fertilizer from oh, Canada well um, remember my science class nitrogen phosphorus potassium right plants need all three uh-huh uh, nitrogen is in the air so they somehow suck there that and then put water in it that's the liquid for I get those barrels oh okay that comes from Canada and phosphorus comes from Florida. Oh. Now those extras that are like that, when they just grow together like those yep. in a big bunch. Yep. Huh. And our John Deere is currently not working, so we're going to have to use the yard man, whether we like it or not.
The other thing I was going to say about that yard man, it doesn't, the deck doesn't shut off. So if you noticed it was blowing a lot of dirt and sounded like a helicopter when we were pulling that plow behind it. That's why. So this cover upper that we're using here behind the yardman is made by Mr. Barry's shop class. A student in his shop class years ago, his grandfather grew potatoes. And growing potatoes is just like growing as planting potatoes is just like planting asparagus. Make a row, cut up the potato and put it in there. You can see you have one end there, here's the other end of it, and then there's another, another plant. And the, way, the reason they're planted like that is so that two bundles don't grow together. You get big bunches of them in, in dead spots. So they can't be uncovered for very long. So that's why we're working so hard here. These came all the way from Massachusetts. Everybody's planting today. Asparagus. All right.